Hey, this is 125 Zuma Guy. Can you guys tell me what we're looking at right now? That's right, we're working at the, we're looking at the V-belt. I've been having some problems lately with some vibration in this area and um, hesitation or more of a I don't know, a rough acceleration from idle. And a closer inspection, I'm getting some slapping. Slapping here on the bottom and on the top so we're getting some slapping this is what we refer to this is what people refer to as uh, belt slapping so let me start it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, closer So, I've been experiencing this for about, I don't know, a while now. So, when I got in here and I looked around, I noticed those signs. So, I went ahead and ordered some parts. Ordered this uh, genuine Yamaha V belt. And I ordered out some uh, a wheel bearing for the other side that's uh, in, the, in the, um, the swing arm right here. I don't know if you guys can see very well but that one there because it had been uh, it had been uh, damaged previously by the previous mechanic that worked on it uh, ordered up a, a bearing a wheel bearing and I ordered some oil seals that go on each side of the bearing it's more like oil seal dust seal and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change these out right now so I can get rid of this problem because I really don't like what's going on so again this is 125 Zuma guy experiencing some belt slap uh, issues and uh, this obviously occurs because the belt gets worn and it stretches out so it's less tense and it has more fluctuation so it has more flex. So I'm going to go in here and while I'm in here I'm going to clean everything out here with a little brush and some soap and water and whatnot and clean it all out and uh, or maybe just break parts the cleaner and clean it all out. Get her back on the road running tough. Anyways, this is 125 Zuma Guy. Again, this is 125 Zuma Guy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Any questions you guys have about this, um, I'll sure to answer. And yeah, I'm going to do a little how to video on how I did this as well. So you guys can save you guys some money and services and uh, labor costs and do it yourself because it's fairly simple. And again, uh, I am a certified mechanic, an automobile mechanic, but this is child's play, so I mean, I've tackled bigger things and uh, this is quite uh, manageable for the average person with the average toolkit, so yeah, you guys stay tuned, subscribe to see what the next video is going to look like, thanks, I'm out.